Best wishes. All right. Good evening, everyone. I extend a warm welcome to all my students present out here, the students who is aspirant to become the future chartered accountants of the country and who would be appearing for their various examinations which will be held in November 2020 and some of them are also appearing on the May 2021. We have this very apt topic on uh, stress management, you know, how to manage your pressure during examination, which is a quite common factor among all the students these days. And uh, I have, uh, uh, you know, a person who I couldn't, I mean, probably this is the right person when I uh, thought about this topic. And uh, yeah, with a great uh, privilege and honor, let me introduce my friend, my brother, I call him Dr. Anand Prabhuji. He's a professor from Sayadri College of Engineering and Management. He's a cyber law guest faculty for Karnataka Judicial Academy, a cyber security trainer also for Karnataka Police Academy. He's an author, he's a motivational speaker, and above all, I always keep these profiles aside. The best thing that I know about him is an amazing human being. His efforts to the society in the last five months is just incredible. As someone who has contributed his entire life in serving the societies and children, I have no words to express my thanks for Anand Prabhu for accepting my invitation for the second time continuously. Whenever I say something, anything on these sorts, and if he comes to know that this particular session is for the students, he will definitely say yes. That's one thing I love about him. So uh, on behalf of the Trisha Group of Institution, I extend a warm welcome to you. And uh, without taking much time, probably I would leave the platform to you. A quick uh, intro about my students. So these are the students who are uh, uh, primarily from the Trisha Group of Institutions from Udupi, Mangalore, and Bangalore who are appearing for uh, the CA exams of different level of foundations and intermediate, which is happening from November 2021, 2020 and May 2021. So the common factor among all these branch students are the stress factor, right? Which is definitely there in uh, every student these days. Uh, probably it's, it's an art of how we manage ourselves. So without taking much time, I would uh, uh, introduce yet again uh, Anand Prabhuji and over to you, sir. And I'm very thankful that uh, you are in here today. Thank you so much, sir. Namaste and uh, thank you very much, uh, Professor Guru Prasad, sir, uh, for this excellent opportunity because I have always been seeing the success story of uh, Trisha coaching classes, uh, Trisha College, and you guys are doing uh, extremely well, you know. So I'm uh, so proud of you, especially I feel so good to see so many All India ranks uh, being produced from your institution, and uh, that is such an honor and privilege, especially for the students who are studying here because they can continue the legacy of uh, securing top ranks. Well, now that you have given me the um, opportunity to talk a little bit about how to uh, manage stress and how to uh, beat this peer pressure or the social stigma that people have, especially when exams are around. Let me just uh, uh, ask all you students uh, to imagine this, whatever I'm going to tell now, okay? All of you, uh, if, if you can uh, listen to me, it is fine. You don't have to look at me. But all of you just close your eyes and just imagine that you are in the forest. Okay. Imagine that you're in a forest and uh, it is uh, somewhere at uh, 5 or 6 p.m. in the evening. So just imagine that. Now, you might be getting hundreds of thoughts like why the hell have I come to the forest? What is the necessity to imagine? So on and so forth. Doesn't matter. You know, uh, we are not getting into the details of it. I just want you to imagine that you are in the forest. And now, all of a sudden, one huge bear comes in front of you. Okay. When the huge bear comes in front of you, let me tell you what are those reactions that your body is going to display. Number one, your heart will start beating faster. Number two, the lungs will start taking in more and more oxygen because it has to provide it to the muscles. Number three, you can see more, you know, the peripheral vision gets activated because your pupils dilate, which allows more of light to come in and you can see clearly and you can see a little more. Number four, your ears get perked up, which means you can start hearing more sounds. It gets sharper. Number five, your blood thickens because it increases clotting. Now, why your blood thickens is when the bear is there, there are more chances that the bear will attack you. And when it attacks you, the blood will start oozing out. And when the blood oozes out, it has to clot. Otherwise, you will die because of the uh, you know blood loss. So your blood will start getting thickened. 
Number six, your skin will start producing sweat and you'll start getting cold. Number seven, your pain and the perception, it reduces. You know, you'll stop feeling the pain. You'll stop feeling everything around. So these are some of the changes that your body uh, automatically gets adapted to in order to do two things, okay? Remember, there are two things that you can do because when there is a bear in front of you, you should either run if the bear is bigger than you or if the bear is smaller than you, probably you should go and attack it, which we rightly call as fight or flight. I repeat, it is called as fight or flight. Now, apart from these two Fs of fight and flight, there is one more F which stands for freeze. Okay, now this freeze is, uh, it is, you know, fight or flight on hold where you become, you know, static. You just stop there like a statue and uh, you don't do anything. You are immobile, but you're thinking everything is going on, but, but you're just there at the moment and uh, fight, flight and freeze. Now, why am I talking about this? See, we are all living in the 21st century. I don't think so. Anybody has the misfortune of going and staying in the forest and uh, coming all the way to uh, attend your Trisha classes. I don't think so. Anybody is uh, uh, that, uh, you know, uh, what, what should I say, unlucky. But then why did I say this is because the same reaction, the same reaction, whatever I've told, you exhibit when you see the question bit. Isn't it so? Especially when the exams are nearing, when you are, uh, uh, you are in the examination hall, all these things you show. Now, let me tell you, why are you showing these reactions? Because the human body is designed for fight or flight. When? When you are stressed. When do you get stressed? You get stressed when your uh, brain, it starts releasing uh, two uh, hormones, I should say. One is called the adrenaline, another one is called the cortisol. And both are the stress hormones. And the minute released, all these things happen. Yes or no? When you go to the exam hall, suddenly you see your heart beating faster, you are breathing faster, you start sweating, and uh, you sometimes become blank. That is a freeze mode. Or uh, you would not know if your blood is thickening because nobody will go and uh, you, I don't think so. Invigilator will come and pounce on you and uh, make sure that you know the blood comes out. So you would not know about that. But then you would experience all these things. So why is it there? Because your body is thinking that you are encountering something really dangerous. Now, who is giving this signal to the body? You are only giving because there is no wild animal there, isn't it? One question paper, if it can give you so much of stress, then what does your body think? Your body thinks that it has to start doing all these things. Now, there is nothing wrong in it because stress with some levels will be a positive thing for you because it would make you get more motivated. It would make you walk the extra mile. You will be more responsible. All that is fine. But when stress gets beyond that limit, what happens is the, the cortisol and the adrenaline, the two things that are released, it stays in the body because you are not running, you are not fighting. It stays in the body. And when it stays in the body, it results in fatigue, irritation, headache, intestinal problem. You see, many of them just before the exam, they feel that their stomach is not fine. They keep going to the loo 100 times, you know, uh, because uh, all, all these are the symptoms. Some of them even become so bad during exams that in the exam hall, when I go to invigilate, when I see the student, I wonder who is this fellow? Because, you know, they become fat and then uh, uh, the girls would have uh, problems with their uh, monthly cycles also. You know, that extent, people are getting disturbed. And the main cause common problem that many of them are facing is difficulty in sleeping. So these are some of the problems the stress is causing you. But let me tell you one thing. Why are you getting stressed? This is the question. The negative thoughts will keep coming before the exam. The negative thoughts will come in the exam also. So let me just quote to you what Mahatma Gandhiji said. He said, your beliefs become your thoughts. Your thoughts become your words. Your words become your actions. Your actions become your habits. Your habits become your values. And your values becomes your destiny. 
Now, why am I saying this is because many of us have this problem. What is that problem? Before the exam hall, I have not finished studying. I don't know anything. What if this question comes? What if I cannot pass? How will I meet my parents and face them? What will I tell my neighbors? And all these negative thoughts, you know, these thoughts, the negative thoughts are the main reason why we are getting stressed. Now, why these negative thoughts come? These negative thoughts come because of these reasons. Number one, lack of preparation. I don't think so at Trisha classes you have this problem because the teachers are all excellent. I've gone through the profile of all of them. Excellent teachers and uh, the way the organization is functioning, no problem with that. Second, why the negative thinking comes because of self-confidence. This is your problem only. Number three, competition of course there is competition but it should be healthy number four the biggest problem is the comparison let me tell you my dear friends what happens is most of you start comparing the first thing you ask your friend is you ask is yes to the agide appa how much have you finished Okay, and that fellow will tell you know the Lamaria, and there are some uh, useless people who will tell I finished five six chapters when I finished. Over oh, your confidence, everything collapsed. What because you might have studied two chapters, and when this guy tells I finished five, you are gone. I used to do that many a time. Simply when somebody calls me and tells, Anand, how much have you finished studying? Finished man, first time in revision over. Now I'm doing second time I tell. So that fellow is collapsed there only. Why I do that is I don't want such people to ask that question again ever in their life. Because even I'm struggling. No, when everybody is struggling, what is this to compare and ask? What is you, what are you doing and what am I doing? So this is one thing. Okay. So it very, very much matters what you think and your thoughts, your words, your beliefs. It creates your reality. Thinking positive, nourishing, inspiring thoughts actually creates a positive world for you. So this is the time where you should stay focused, stay positive, and you need to always think of the good things. Avoid news because no question from the newspaper will come and avoid these uh, night uh, debates nonsense you know what these people keep talking about uh, so many things and nothing happens have you seen after the end of the debate has anything happened nothing has happened only thing is that guy has got crores of money and the advertisement people have got their customers other than that i have not seen one change happening because of debates so don't waste your time on debates don't waste your time on negativity because henry ford has very rightly said whether you think you can or you can't you are right i repeat whether you think you can or you can't you are right so what you think actually happens and after one exam please do not worry about that exam see there are two possibilities one you have done well another you have not done well just let it go no after one exam because worrying about it will all will not increase your marks remember if i am the exam uh, papers evaluator and you sit in your house and cry how would i understand that you are crying Yes or no? If you cry or if you are depressed or if you are uh, uh, you're talking to your parents and telling that, you know, this is all over, how would I know? One mark of yours also will not get increased if you sit at home and cry. Instead, don't cry and don't spoil your chances of doing well in the next paper by cribbing over the spilt milk. And many a times, miracles work. Remember, my dear friends, miracle works because I have not heard of anyone saying till now in my 13 years of teaching career that I have exactly got the same mark that I had expected. Nobody. Either they tell I got more than what I expected and many of them tell I got less than what I have expected. Nobody has told me, sir, I expected 93.5 out of 100 and I've got exact marks. No. Therefore, you have to leave certain things to itself. You have to leave it to the universe only. And important thing, very, very important thing for all of you is stay away from negative thoughts and do not compare yourself with others, especially, as I said, after revision. And very important is make sure that you're having exams in November, very few months. Uh, so make sure you eat good food, especially the leafy vegetables, a bowl of oats, dry fruits, banana, nuts, 
fruits and if you are eating egg you can eat egg and chapati and things like that and avoid these energy drinks i am seeing many people drinking one energy drink and thinking that they are going to become uh, as powerful as usain bolt or uh, mike tyson nonsense energy drink is only placebo it does not work at all i have tried drinking energy all my energy has gone so don't drink energy drink number one and avoid sweets because it slows down your brain don't take sweets don't eat junk food hot chips and all that you know i have seen people keeping ruffles lays and eating these lays while studying it will not get into your head and most importantly avoid that white bread with the jam okay you should not eat that you should eat only the healthy food and why am i telling this is because it's most important to stretch after you wake up stretch after you study for one hour you stretch these exercises they release a dopamine i repeat exercises release dopamine and this dopamine is the feel good hormone which calms your mind and the research also shows that dopamine if it is released makes you to remember better your retention increases so if you are wondering what is this dopamine if you have all played this temple run game when you are playing the game at one level if you are always dying always dying and after 20 attempts or 25 attempts 26th attempt if you cross that particular level you feel super happy how did you feel that super happy because your brain has given you a small amount of dopamine as a gift and when does brain reward you with dopamine when you do something that is difficult so if you want more dopamine if you want to be more happy do the most difficult things like getting a top rank in ca or coming first in your class you know such things if you do your brain uh, gives you dopamine so that you can stay happy and the last point that i want to tell all of you is don't bother what others think i remember i repeat it don't bother what others think if you are so concerned go and ask your neighbors or your relatives to pay your trisha coaching classes fees let me see how many of them will come and pay the fees if they are interested in your results they should also be interested to pay your fees how many of them will pay the fees nobody will pay the fees so don't bother you should only be bothered about your teachers and your parents they are your well wishers they are the people who are there for you so don't really bother because i always tell you know this life is like a cricket match and in this cricket match there are no wickets there are no fielders only one ball will come life will throw one ball at you what you need to do is you need to either leave that ball hit a six hit a boundary dodge it whatever you want you can do so it is not that every ball you can hit a sixer one ball you miss two balls you miss nothing will happen because you can't become catch out you can't become bold you can't become hit wicket nothing you can become because there are no wickets there are no fielders but the only way in this cricket match you can get out is when you leave the bat and walk out of the field i repeat when you leave the bat and walk out of the field that is where you will become out that is where you give up therefore i tell people just because of one setback or anything don't don't think of the setback first of all next plan b should always be there no if one setback nothing will happen because i can give you thousands of examples of people who have not uh, uh, you know um, become successful in the first attempt only so if it happens in the first attempt superb nothing like that if it doesn't happen so what next attempt therefore be with that very uh, positive mindset that things will happen good things will happen don't think about the negative things and most importantly my dear friends seek your parents your teachers and god's blessings before you go and give your exams i repeat parents teachers and god's blessings is very important because these blessings are positive vibrations and the positive vibrations are really going to help you because i have seen many a times what is an exam whatever you have studied if it comes for the in the question paper that's a good exam what you have not studied if it comes in the question paper that is a tough exam therefore you need a lot of uh, divine grace as well so seek blessings stay positive and if i can be of any help to any of you watching this you are most welcome to follow me on facebook anand prabhu gurpur is my facebook uh, and my uh, whatsapp number is 8951511111 i repeat 8951511111 if you can if you have any stress or anything at any point in time just whatsapp me don't call me i don't take calls just whatsapp me and i will definitely help you and uh, uh, dear uh, guru prasad sir yesterday i released one book 
which is called as a little black book for students okay it is available I'm hearing a lot about it yeah yeah it's available on google play uh, it is only 100 bucks book but uh, and 100% of the money goes for charitable activities so a little black book for students you can just download that book because that book has got a little more about how to handle stress how to deal with exam anxiety how to deal with the uh, you know poor performance and all that don't worry life is beautiful one exam does not define you or me because life is much beyond that please remember life is much beyond an exam these exams are only milestones let us complete one milestone at a time and i wish i pray that each one of you watching this particular uh, webinar will be uber successful in life you will uh, kiss the uh, you know um, the happiness in life and the victories of life i wish you all the best and uh, go give your exams come out with flying colors make your institution uh, uh, proud of you make the nation proud of you be very good citizens of the nation god bless all of you jai hind thank you very much thank you anand i mean that was i mean great listening to you as always you know i mean uh, i have listened to so many of your talks and it gives always a goosebumps for everyone who listens to you uh, i mean uh, what is that i mean how how have you studied the student psychology i mean just on a personal note i mean you have been able to solve so many of them you are a finest counselor who i have ever met how is that sir uh, guru prasad sir uh, the thing is i have got variety of uh, people attending my lectures you know so i have school students i have uh, pre university students uh, because i started my career at expert and then i was running vikas college i've been a professor at sayadri where we have students from uh, uh, the engineering background right. and most importantly i have these ips officers and the uh, police officers uh, for whom i'm training and the uh, and uh, of course the judges you know the district judges the high court judges so having seen different types of people i have realized that everybody has got the potential everyone is born to be a winner but the only problem here is we fail to identify what we are for example if i ask this question to all of you whether rithik roshan is divorced or still married i'm 100% sure everybody will say rithik roshan is divorced super okay if i ask you who was this uh, uh, our late uh, sushant singh rajput's uh, girlfriend everybody will say riya chakravarti okay so you know who is whose girlfriend if i ask you how many months pregnant is anushka you know that she is going to deliver in january okay so you know about the delivery of so many people but you don't know about yourself for example if i ask all of you how loudly can you scream in decibels because sound is measured in decibels no tell me how loudly you can scream in decibels adu gotilla sir okay how high can you jump tell me in uh, inches adu sa gotilla okay then ninge yen gotunta pa nin bag gotilla bere avardu bagi gotuntu so this is the problem you know we do not know about ourselves we do not know what our potentials are we don't know what is our goal we don't know what is our uh, you know what will make us happy what will not make us happy gotilla but what we know is ha huh, we know that uh, our uh, you know uh, deepika padukon and uh, ranveer they are having fight today all these things we know so unnecessary things we are bombarding ourselves with without uh, uh, you know uh, uh, the things which will not help us anywhere ye nai to even if deepika and ranveer are fighting or uh, jumping what can i do i can't do anything no but we need to understand that there are things that we need to know about ourselves number one and second what we need to know is how to bounce back one failure two failures so what yeah what what will happen we are not in a race race happens only when we compare ourselves with somebody else if i compare myself to guru prasad sir i will 100% feel bad why because his organization is doing extraordinarily well my organization is not doing so compare madidralva problem agudu don't compare the only thing you have to compare yourself with is with what you were yesterday today you should be better than yesterday tomorrow you should be better than today so only when there is incremental growth with yourself where you are comparing yourself with yourself not with somebody else that is where you will become successful if otherwise you will keep uh, convincing yourself that you are good for nothing you are a loser you are useless and you will keep putting so much of negative thoughts in you that you will automatically end up becoming depressed simply uh, last one before we conclude 
uh, if you know this fact that you know india tops the table when it comes to student suicidal deaths now as an educators you know uh, we only train students probably most of the education institutes talk about success management success management i think we should hard it's a very high time that we also talk about failure management do you think somewhere we are missing this anand uh, absolutely that's why uh, there's one exclusive chapter on my book uh, mm. in the little black book where i've told suicide is not the solution at all you know say no to suicide see i'll tell you this suicide also uh, this is something where uh, it's it's just a momentary reaction you know so uh, if the thought just passes after that i don't think so, uh, he would even co commit suicide it's just at that point in time where uh, people understand see because as you have rightly said guru prasad ji schools and colleges don't teach three things schools don't teach you how to earn money or how to get money from the market schools don't teach schools don't teach you how to impress people the most important life skill that you need to know is how to impress people if you cannot impress somebody else you can never be successful because nobody is going to listen or buy whatever you are trying to sell so very important thing is always impress people and the third or the, not the last but the most important one is how to bounce back when you fail so as i gave you the example of the cricket match you become out only when you leave the bat and go that is the suicide or when you give up otherwise you can never be out here now what will happen why commit suicide what is it that is so important that uh, without which you cannot live the rest of your life one exam you don't pass what happened there are so many people who have been you ask me i will show you so many ministers who have not even completed 10th standard yes or no you have at least come uh, completed 12th or degree or something isn't it so that minister is ruling all of us and you for one exam you want to go and uh, commit suicide is it so i I'll, i'll give you examples of so many people so many who have not done anything but they are doing so many things so don't think that one exam is defining you or one exam you uh, to pass other in life will be successful nothing like that every day newer challenges will come face it head on i repeat face it head on hundreds of challenges will come let it come no why is it that every ball you have hit six sir what are you even sachin has not hit six for all balls isn't it so Ah, uh, he has become duck out so many times. He has become out so many times. So what? One ball you miss, ten balls you miss, nothing will happen. Just face face life head on and show that nothing can uh, deter you. Nothing. There should be nothing in this world that can shake you because you are unshakable. Prove this. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's a serious matter of concern for all educators like us. You know, I was reading an article uh, when the uh, SSLC result was out. a boy in uh, tumkur you know he commit suicide because he was able to score 87% because he was expecting 95% i really don't know what is education that teaching these students or what are the parents doing to their children is something you know it's a great matter of concern that's where i think you and me the people like us have to work greatly towards uh, upbringing yes students uh, thank you so much for being a part of this session it's uh, these are the pep talks which are you know short but then very very impactful right and it's a great honor and pleasure as i said to have a people like uh, anand prabhu with us who's a great well wisher of uh, our institution and i'm very sure that there will be many more sessions to come and i personal request to all my students who are watching here do uh, follow and like his page because in this also uh, the world of internet and network and all that uh, his page gives me a lot of information how to keep yourself very safe from all these uh, uh, you know the, the media etiquette the social media etiquette the cyber crimes and all that i mean it's really very important so my personal request to all my students here to please uh, you know follow anand sir and definitely if you want anything from his any suggestions or guidance or a kind of counseling you can reach him or you can route it through me i will definitely get back to him with your queries uh, anand sir on behalf of my chairman ca gopal krishna bhat and uh, the whole uh, prisha group of family i extend a heartfelt thanks to you and i look forward for many more sessions we are just waiting for this pandemic to settle down and uh, i would definitely want to invite you to my campus once i'm really waiting for that cyber security thing to happen in my campus thank you so much for being a part of this sir and, and wishing you wishing you and wishing each and every one uh the green lights wishing you all green lights so that uh, uh the life becomes really smooth it's uh, you enjoy every day you celebrate every moment and uh, god bless all of us jai hind thank you myself guru prasad rao the host of this session signing off <laughs>